Mic check. <clears throat> Mic check. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Three to four. Shout out to the hottest chat in the MFing game, A Side Official. No negotiations needed, period. You already know. Fondora gets the win. Once again, Fondora gets the win. Once again, Fondora gets the win. I was chopping it up earlier. You know what I'm saying? With some aerosexuals. And I was saying, this is not an easy fight for Tim Zhu. And y'all love betting on Crawford to not be somewhere. Y'all always love that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all always want to Raise the plotting and scheming, the fraud, you know what I'm saying, the betrayal, you know what I'm saying, the backstabbing, y'all applaud that. But I told you all, Fondora is not an easy go for Tim Zhu, and he may just pull this out. Who told Tim Zhu to run in there and get sliced up? That's what happened when you got duck feathers on your head there, Zhu. That's what happened. You got to start all over again. You got to start all over again. Team Crawford, we laughing. a Sunday man I'm not trying to act like a heathen you know what I'm saying I'm not trying to act like a heathen but Fandora wins and guess who shows up I say I can only imagine let, 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 let me show you let me show you the excitement that Fandora had by becoming the 154 pound unified champion and then, you know, all this conversation was going around about Spence is going to fight Zoo. Spence is going to... Spence, no MF and whale. He ain't trying to fight no mother. Sebastian Fondor. You know MF and whale that you didn't bet on no Fondora. You bet on Tim Zoo, man. You bet on Tim Zoo. He may come in there smiling. They try to take advantage and seize the moment. But see, you better be glad it's Sunday. Because I was going to do a thumbnail, especially for you, Spence. And I was going to I was gonna put that goddamn Crawford, them Crawford ghosts in the ring from the T-Mobile Massacre. I was going to then lighten them up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I was going to lighten them up a little bit and, and put them Crawford ghosts in there. You know what I'm saying? From the T-Mobile Massacre. I know, I know the aerosexuals, they just melted. Their little hearts melted. It's Easter too. <sighs> Their hearts were sitting on the freaking canvas with all that blood. Just like little egg yolk. You know, just like some cracked eggs, man. You know what I'm saying? They was looking forward to going Easter egg hunting today. And hoping to crack over some more ducks. You know what I'm saying? That's what happened when you have them feathers on your head. And you run into that goddamn saw blade. You get your shit split open because that's what you was trying to do in the first place. You was trying to run away from responsibility. And then you had to go through desperate measures to try to find a way to beat this guy. He ended up goddamn beating you by death by 6,042 freaking jabs, man. You didn't, you didn't have a gang, you didn't have a plan B or C. That's the same thing they said about freaking Spence, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't have a plan B or C. Anybody who's listening to this, right? Don't you dare believe that Spence is one to go in there and face Fondora. Come on now. Don't, 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 don't you dare believe that. Don't you dare think that that wasn't nothing but a little hype display. That's why Fondora was looking at him like, Man, come on now. You are not trying to step in here and fight me. 
Von Dora said he's one of the greats right now. If I can be him, it'll be history for me again. Look, all you aerosexuals that betted against Terrence Crawford again and lost. Because you thought Zoo was going to have that happy moment. Listen to me. Did I not mention? Did I not mention? Arrow, Arrow would probably be facing Zoo. You know what I'm saying? Because Zoo was going to win this fight. Check my Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Check my Twitter. But now Spence come out. He gets some airtime, right? He gets some airtime. And he said, now you get to face the big dog. He just faced the big dog. Shout out to Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu gave heart, man. Tim Zhu was bloody early in the fight. I think he got cut at the end of the first or early second. He got sliced off with one of them Fondora blades. Rushing in there like a rock'em sock'em robot. Trying to get on the inside. I, I, look, I know you had to do something, Tim Zoo. I know you had to find some type of measure to get in there. You had to find some type of breach, breaching method to get in there. I get it, bro. I get it. But you took this fight on short notice. You did. You took the fight on short, short notice against this goddamn pine oak. You took this fight on short notice against the towering inferno and lost. But what I like the most is I like that Spence showed up. I like that Spence showed up. He's sitting at about 185 right now, 190. You know what I'm saying? Iced out. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad Spence showed up, man. Because listen, all the aerosexual was looking for, you know, based off his 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 tweet that he sent out, that he was going to Vegas. They was just waiting to see his face so they can melt. You know what I'm saying? They was melt like that in there, fresh egg yolk on hot concrete. You know what I'm saying? They was up there. They said, ah, oh, oh, there go. There he goes. Oh. They was blushing. If if them aerosexuals could take a goddamn picture of themselves behind the screen today on Easter Sunday, man, they would have been, you would have seen some cherry cheeks. They little cheekbones would have been freaking cherry red, y'all. They would have been blushing like all know what. Oh my God, my Lord, my Savior, my King, my God has arrived. Oh man, I'm so gracious for your appearance. I am so gracious. You know, he got his hair braided up and everything. Boy, I can only imagine what them Errol Sexual was doing. They was having a field day looking at Errol Spence, man. They say, day he is. Day he is. Day he is. Yeah, day he is right there. They start texting everybody. Hey, hey, EJ on. EJ on. Hurry up, EJ on. EJ on. Man, hurry up. Catch him before he get out, man. EJ on there. Man, he calling out front door. They face to face, man. Man, come on, man. He chest to chest with front door. He's calling them out. Look, look, hurry up. I'm taking the picture and sending it to you now. They they talking about it right as we speak in the private chat, y'all. You know what them fools saying? Arrow look ready. Oh, my God. Arrow look ready. Did you see that chain he had on? Oh, he look ready. That chain, any fighter who wears a chain like that ready any fighter who wears a chain like that is ready that's what they saying let me get to the chat man i don't want to talk about these aerosexuals too much they probably sitting up there soft as jello right now as they wobbling their ass on the freaking carpet and got them all warm and shit you know what i'm saying they got that warm sensation they having hot flashes and shit all because they saw they they lowered their king, their God, their savior on deck. On the brown on deck. What's good with it? Mike on deck. Salute. JD on deck. 918 on deck. What's good? Hey, hey man. You 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 can't sit up here with duck feathers on your head and, and expect to try to run in there and play rock'em sock'em robot with a pine oak. You know what I'm saying? With a mahogany oak. You know what I'm saying? You 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 trying to you trying to play rock'em sock'em with a tree? Spence looked like a drunk, washed-up fool in that rainy night. PBC has no shame. 
Hey, man. Hey, foul player. Why you come over here on Easter doing that, man? You know better than that, man. Man. Man, come on, man. Man, have a better attitude, man. It, look, 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 man. It's about to be April, man. It's about to be April tomorrow, man. Have, have a better attitude about that, man. He claimed he bet it on Fundora. He claimed he bet it on Fundora. Go figure, huh? Okay. Miguel on deck. What's good? Bud is the real boogeyman. That's a smart, that's a smart person right there. That's a smart person because I try to tell him. I say, Fundora ain't no joke, y'all. Fundora ain't no joke. All Fundora did was jab the shit out of him, bro. It was like watching the pogos. It was almost like having them paddle boards with the ball, with the with the rubber band on it, and you just hit it back and forth like that. For real. It's almost like his his jab was was like a paddle board, man. That little rubber ball that's on the paddle board. And you just try to pop it off the paddle board over and over again. He was just piston, 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 piston. Piston, just popping, 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 popping. And here, and here's Tim Zhu, bloodied, cut open. Look, look, his his freaking whoever that was that was that was treating his cut. I don't think he knew that he was supposed to use adrenaline 1000. I think he had the the the, the solvent. They they even said in the commentator that he didn't have the right medication. Zoo, Zoo came, and I guess they used to pack an Australian dirt in their wounds because he didn't have adrenaline 1000. He had adrenaline 15 and a half to 16. He couldn't even stop that motherfucking cut on Tim Zoo's head. He couldn't even stop it. How, how, you know, if y'all used to packing that, that kangaroo dung, you know, in them cuts, it's supposed to be good protein to stop the bleeding. Why you didn't bring none with you, man? How can you have a cut, man? Y'all didn't think y'all was getting cut by them long-ass fucking blades? How can you go up there and don't have nothing? Yeah, Vaseline, it's all good, but you didn't have Adrenaline 1000, bro. Adrenaline. You didn't have no Adrenaline 1000. You had Adrenaline 8.6 and a half. It's not going to stop anything from bleeding. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. How you going up there to try to get a fight with freaking Errol Spence? And your and your cut man don't even have the right medication for your cut because you want to then run in through the front door and get sliced up early. Man, come on. Now you gotta go back to Australia and join goddamn George Cambosis at the local pub so y'all can have a drink. Hey Mike. <laughs> How you feel? Hey man, I know I've been there. It's going to be okay, man. It's going to be okay, Mike. It's going to be okay. But at least you don't have to fight that Crawford guy. He's not going to fight you with no belts, okay? I don't know why you even call him out. But he's not going to fight you, Mike. Don't worry about it. But nah, Hopkins, um, B Hop, and Oscar De La Hoya, man, put a video out. They was laughing their ass off, man. See, you notice I haven't talked about Roly. Roly don't get no conversation. Pitbull Cruz don't get no conversation. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, we talking about strictly the priority, goddammit. We talking about all the freaking plotting and scheming. Y'all better leave that man alone, bro. The Omaha Monster. Paves his own path. Y'all up here trying to stop that man and put obstacles in there. Now what? Y'all was up there hoping and wishing and praying that Tim Zhu win and he can get no, no, no. You got a worse opponent now. See how God work. You see how God work, you aerosexuals. You felines, you strays. Do you see how God work? God work great, don't he? Especially on Easter Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Especially on Easter Sunday, all you aerosexuals just up there hating, plotting, you know, trying to hope Crawford. Oh, man, he's getting frozen out. He's getting blackballed. Well, 
Well, one thing we can say is that um, there was a lot of bloodshed today. And uh, one thing I can say about Crawford is that um, none of that is his. You know, they doing DNA because Red Cross was on deck today. You know what I'm saying? That was that was a, a, a very, I mean, I'm talking about gracious amount of freaking um, blood donated to the Red Cross today. Yes, from, from Sebastian Fundor and especially Tim Zhu. They got that special Australian blood, y'all. That shit they take to the laboratory, and I don't know what they're going to do with it. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but I hope they don't try to clone a boxer. Maybe they should. You know, maybe they should because, that, that you know, Tim Zhu showed heart. You know, he showed heart, real talk. He didn't give up. He didn't go in there and sweep the outside and look confused like um, Rolly Romero. He didn't do that. I give him his props, though. He fought through a bad cut, and um, I have to credit him, man, and much respect to Zoo. But I'm just, I'm just really zooming in on these arrow effing sexuals, man. How they was plotting on freaking, you know, Errol Spence coming in there, um, you know, cutting the mind, you know, what I'm saying supposedly having control, you know, in a situation. You know, like Tim Zhu was going to be the one to win. He got beat. Now what? See how God worked, man? God damn it. Y'all don't get enough, do you? Now what y'all going to say? Uh-oh. Them aerosexuals are scared for their fucking life. Look, look, time they seen Spence. Look, they had a, they had a moment, y'all. They got on one knee. And then they got on uh, a, uh, a second knee. And it was Easter Sunday and they prayed. Thank you, Father God. We have seen him. The light is shining upon us tonight. We have seen our Lord, our Savior, our King, our God. Arrow Spence Jr. in the ring. But Father God, while I'm in prayer with you at this moment, I just pray that he don't take this fight against Tim Zhu. Oh, my God. Are you? Oh, my God in heaven. If you are listening to me, please don't allow this fight to happen. If you can, you can um, bring back those cataracts. Um, if you can get Macaluli on the phone to, to 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 help him prepare for a freaking Sebastian Van Dora, um, and and get injured again, please don't let him, because that's gonna be a massacre. You know, if, if if Father God, if 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 I have to tell you, if anybody else can step in instead of Errol Spence could you please allow that to happen this is the time Father God that I'm going to shock you I'm going to ask for your forgiveness and I'm going to ask that you allow Terrence Bud Crawford to go in there and fight Sebastian Van Dora and then, and then we, we, we get Terrence Crawford again in the rematch but right now Father God we ain't, we, we're not ready we're not ready for this we're not ready for no Sebastian Van Dora hell no we ain't ready What's going on, bro? Salute to you. OG Mr. Golden on deck. Salute. Spence said he talking, taking fun door to Dallas. He get to, to juice him. That, like, yeah, see, see, juice on it, man. Juice is on the juice, man. What? I call it that Texas too. Uh, Texas tea juice. I call that Texas tea. Yeah, Spence said he taking fun door to Dallas. He get the juice in Texas. I read the Texas Athletic Commission rule. They shake. Yeah, bro. You own it, man. He on that Texas T, man. He on that Texas T. You already know. If Fondora and them smart, they'll have it right back in the T-Mobile Massacre. Take them back to the T-Mobile Massacre. Fondora was just in a massacre. It was blood everywhere. Take Arrow back to the massacre, bro. The T-Mobile Arena. That's what they for. You know what I'm saying? Take them to the bath of all baths, man. That's what we want. What happened with the eye injury? Well, the eye injury seemed to be good. You know what I'm saying? It seemed like the cataracts, you know, once he got the medicine in there, they shed it. They fell off. You know what I'm saying? He, he probably put them in a, in a in a freaking container or something. I don't, I don't know what he did. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Golden said, man, the arrow sex is going wild. Hey, hey, ain't they? You you remember, Mr. Hey, hey, you remember OG? How they had that that show called Girls Gone Wild. Now now it's Arrow Sex was gone wild. When I can only imagine when they seen Arrow, when they seen him, look when they seen Arrow show up, man, it was Arrow Sex was gone wild, y'all. 
They was running around, man. They was jumping out of windows. They was they was smitten, y'all. Them aerosex was so smitten. They was, oh man, this is the best Easter that they ever had, y'all. They probably was in there cracking. They was in there grabbing the carton of eggs out the fridge, cracking them upside their head and say, is this real? Is this real? Is this real? Just smacking eggs on their forehead. Is this real? Is this real? Oh, my God. It's the best Easter ever. Oh, my God. They're so happy. Boy, they, boy you talking about them aerosexuals going to sleep good. They're going to sleep good, man, with a smile on their face, bro. They gonna they they gonna they gonna sleep well tonight. You know what I'm saying? But hey, Juice said it, not me. He say he say Spence want to go back to Texas, and he gonna be on that goddamn Juice Juice. You know what I'm saying? He gonna be on that Texas T. Somebody somebody knows a little some some dog. That's all I'm saying. You go to Texas, um, Fundor, that'd be your biggest mistake. Don't go to Texas, man. You ain't trying to go to Texas. I don't give a damn if Beyonce got a got a number one hit out in, in, in this country. Don't do it. Don't do it. You 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 better go to you better go to motherfucking uh, Las Vegas, the T-Mobile, and, and have your walkout song. You know to stay away. Uh, uh don't go to don't go to Texas, man. He said, "Frosty." <laughs> Oh man, god damn. Boy, they gonna try to goddamn remove my shit. The chat is going cray cray, man. He said false teeth in the fish. Hey man. Sometimes, somehow, some way, man. Let's let's look at it this way. Fish have been known to lose teeth, especially sharks, and, and grow them back. Let's just say, you know, he's gonna shed those and then they're gonna grow back some of that. I'm getting benefit of that, man, you know. You know what I'm saying? I, I did have to cover my eyes a little bit and crack through my fingers and say, God damn, the motherfucking headlights. And oh, oh, oh my motherfucker smiling. My bad, my bad. Cool. My bad. Toby Bartlett, Mr. International in the building. Salute W says the hottest chat in the YTC. We're global, baby. We're global. Salute to you, brother. Appreciate you pulling up in the building. Jay on deck, I see you. If Keith Thurman was still in the fight, Arrow. Will still MIA pay attention. Yeah, man. Um, you know, he made look, look, I'm I'm just gonna give y'all a little brief preamble to what y'all witnessed tonight. All this is is a way to introduce, you know, Errol Spence back into society. It's almost like he's been a, he's been ostracized. You know what I'm saying? Banished. He's been on that island. And they want to introduce him back to the public like he's a brand new person. This is nothing different than he was before he faced um, Crawford. But what I'm trying to tell you is that he go in there with freaking Sebastian Fundora. His ass is getting stopped. I put all the money in. I look, I'm putting all my money on Fundora any day. Of the, look, only if it's not in Texas. If it's in Texas, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone because I know it's going to be some funny dunny and Spence going to come in there super ripped two months before he need to weigh in. And, and, and you know, they're going to be coming here tomorrow. Oh, it's the best shape of his life. The best shape of his life. The best shape of his life since losing to Terrence Crawford. Look at the striations. Look at the definition. Look at his jab. Man, come on now. Don't do it, Fundor. Don't do it. I'm about to send the team out and make sure Fundor is straight. Because he got caught a couple of times. He showed his chin. He showed his chin. I'm telling you, y'all. I'm telling you. You know, the, the one thing about Fundor and Spence, they, they, you know, they damn near fight. <sighs> I can't say that about I take that back. Fundor don't fight like Spence. He chose to fight like Spence tonight. Just a little bit. He was just stand on his jab, didn't go to the body that much, you know. Um, matter of fact, I'm not even going to do him like that. He didn't fight like Spence. It was just moments that he looked like. He was just sticking to the jab, and every now and then he'll, he'll throw something down low. Um, you know, but most of the time he was just sticking to the one, keeping active with the stick, and then, you know, he'll, he'll throw um, a combination. 
but he did get lit up there a couple of times and Zhu found out he just couldn't hurt him like that because this is a guy uh, uh, look imagine how this work imagine how this work god is good ain't he you know what i'm saying fondora fights brian mendoza gets to stop it brian mendoza goes over and fight faces tim Zhu, loses the decision right styles make fights right Zhu gets the opportunity last minute to fight face Fendora, who lost the prime Brian Mendoza via knockout. Right? He goes in here and faces Zhu and does very, very well all the way to win a split decision. That's how boxing works sometimes. Then post fight, you see Errol Spence coming there, knowing damn well he ain't trying to get that smoke. Damn well. Errol, you are not trying to face Zhu after what you've seen tonight. I mean, not Zoo freaking Fundora. You're not trying to face that guy. Don't you do it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? All I all I heard, and you know, every time freaking Sebastian Fundora threw a punch, all I heard was Tony Montana, Tony Montana, Tony Montana, Tony Montana. That's all I heard. Like he had that goddamn machine gun on FA. He had that goddamn trigger. Pull, squeeze all the way back to the back with that jab. And Tony Montana, Tony Montana. And then, and then, and you know, EJ shows up. You know, hey, it's all good for play play. You know what I'm saying? It's all good for play play. How many of y'all think he really gonna step in there and face Fondora, y'all? Real talk. How many of y'all think Errol Spence is gonna face Fondora after he he can, he went in there against Zoo? I look, I got Zoo beating EJ. The way he was tonight, Zoo is tough as shit. Take the cut away. It's probably a different fight. But we ain't talking about butt. We're talking about G O D. We're talking about I S. We're talking about G O O D. God is good. Especially when he rebuke those sinister malice aerosexuals. God is good. JD say for a man called the truth, he sure did a lot of capping to get out of the bud rematch. His eyes hurt until the cataract was canceled, then puff, poof, he's suddenly ready to fight. Just not against bud. Facts, man. Facts in the chat. What's up with that? Facts in the chat. What's up with that? You right, bro? You know what I'm saying? He ready to fight right now. He say it's time for you to get, you know, the big dog. Oh, man. At that point in time, I wanted to find me a syringe so quick. Give me a beer bottle, a syringe, and a cup. That's all I need. I'm going to crack his ass upside the head, take a sample, put it in the cup, and then have it tested. That's all I was going to do. Beer bottle, syringe, cup. That's it. That's all I need. That's called a mobile test kit. That's it. I wanted to test and see if he was he, 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 he was in there sober. That's all. I want to know how many of them aerosexuals was up there pushing and, and got them sending drinks to where he was sitting. Yes, the, the guy down there in the baby blue, the sky blue, my my Lord, my King, my God, my Savior. That's him right there, Errol Spence Jr. Send him my regards. I'm sending him this drink, this whole bottle, black label. Yeah, tell him it, it, it's paid for all that. I got it. They were sending Spence gifts down there anonymously. Ugh, doing some weird zesty shit tonight. You know what I'm saying? For real. For real, for real, man. Tim a dog, but he get beat bad by Bud taking EJ over. But I knew their Tim ain't the guy now. He really looking bad like a duck. A slight hype job. I can understand, you know, I can feel it, man, where you coming from for a hype job. I, I don't I don't feel that, that, that Tim Zoo is a hype job at this point. I did feel some type of way about him, you know, pretending like he wanted to, you know, fight Crawford. But yet him and his team is trying to convince the general public that they always had the list set up. Arrow Crawford Canelo. Arrow Crawford Canelo. So, so, so just like tonight, you know what I'm saying? Point, perfect example. They always want to talk about Zoo mentioned Crawford. 
What's wrong with y'all, man? Y'all, y'all, y'all graduated already. Now, I don't know what bus you rode on. I don't know if it had two numbers, one number, or uh, any other. Oh, goddamn. It might have just said, you know, zero. Or if it had a freaking sketch of a hand that was pointing, get on the bus. But, 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 but what comes, what comes before two? One, right? So if you don't say a person's name first, first, he said Errol Spence, even in, in, in defeat, he said Errol Spence. He didn't say Crawford. He didn't want to fight Crawford, man. And he still don't want to fight Crawford. That's a fact he don't want to fight Crawford, man. Earl was wearing Diddy James' paycheck around his neck. <laughs> That's a good one, man. I don't know if Diddy James was in the building or not, but he was probably in the shadows frowning the fuck up. <laughs> what? Can somebody put closed caption on? No! Don't do it, man. People get injured. Don't put closed caption on. Mm -mm. Let, let them go. Just let them go. Let them vent. Do not put closed caption on. Them balls be jumping off the screen and, and they've been they've been known to concuss little kids. Stop it. If I'm Bud, I petition the WBC. If they drop the WBO and, 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 and corner the Ducks, Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that, Juice. Yeah, I like that. Because he is still the WBC. You know what I'm saying? I like that right there. Show him you got options, man. Show him you got options. But Bud, he, he, he seemed to come off as a traditional type of fighter. He liked to stick what what he knows. So he will probably stick and stay on course with the WBO. He said, I'm sure Paco would put that vacant WBO on the line for Crawford. Just the thought, we got to corner these 304s. Yo, man, good, good, man. That's well put. You know, it's always, I think by this point, we already, we always know that Bud has, you know, options. He has more than one way to go. So it's possible for him to go the WBC route. He has options, man. You know, right now, they said tonight that Jamel Charlo is still the 154-pound um, um, champion. I mean, on recess, of course. You know what I'm saying? After put Spence as the winner by KO, Fondora ain't bud. He ain't got that movement. He can't handle Spence body shots. Um, I know this is your first time over here, but listen. Listen, I understand you probably seen the fight just like millions of others, right? You think that Fondora is going to continue just let Spence punch him in the stomach. It, look, I know it looks easy. I know it looks easy. Just look at what Fondora did. Fondora barely exchanged on the inside tonight. He was more so distance, distance, distance. You know what I'm saying? He was all about distance, distance accountability, spacing. He didn't even really, you know, get on the inside because he knew it was dangerous. He knew it was dangerous. If Tim Zhu wanted to close distance, he's going to have to do it. He's going to have to take risks to get on the inside of Fondora's jab. And that's what you've seen. Every now and then, he was able to get on the inside, but but not much because Fondora kept distance. You know what I'm saying? He kept that gauge out, and he kept that piston going. For real, he kept the piston going. Tim Adolf, he, he, he get beat bad by Bud. Joseph Bailey, what's good? What up, W says Spence out of shape. PBC is a joke. Hey man. Spence just had you remember the last time we seen him before the Crawford fight? Um, who fight was that? I forgot who it was. Was it Frank Martin? But he had on Baby Blue then too. You know, when he's back in the locker room and they was talking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had no baby blue too. He must, be, you know, he must like baby blue. It's all good. It's all, it's all good. But what he, what he should is send some, some baby blue Kleenex boxes, or some baby wipes over to them aerosexuals that still over there blowing snot bubbles just because they was able to see him, you know, in person on TV. They was waiting. They was waiting. I swear to God, they was waiting. Someone was talking to their kids, and they happened to hear 
somebody say Spencer's on deck, they literally probably, hey, hey kids, go in the room. I, I'll be in the right coat. Just go in the room. Lock the door. Okay? Lay on the bed. Put your pillow around your ears. Ah! My guy! My guy! My guy! Yes! My guy! My guy Spence. My guy Spence is back. My guy Spence. Let me get on the phone. Let me get on the phone. Goddamn tell them. We need to hurry up. We need to push that freaking private chat up. I didn't know this nigga's jumping the ring and shit like that. We're going to have to push this up, man. We're going to have to do it at 12.15, man. We need everybody in the private chat. 12.15 a.m. 12.15 a.m., man. It's the Easter chat. Early Easter chat. What's going on, Trick Nulty, the Oracle in the building? Whom W says, just like when... His dad was possibly going to fight De La Hoya at 147, but Vince Phillips threw in the monkey wrench. Yeah, man, sure did. Good point. The Oracle is spoken. You know what I'm saying? The Oracle is spoken. You know what I'm saying? You know, his, his father did what he did, and, and, and his son took this fight on short notice, and I can see what Zhu believed that he had enough. Zoo believe real talk. I can see I can see points in the fight. I say, man, Zoo, Zoo a strong nigga, man. Like I can understand where you at with it. I can understand he's a he's a tough fighter, bro. He had all that blood leaking from his freaking cranial cap. You know what I'm saying? From being sliced up from the Thundora Jinsu pine oak branches. And he should have known better not to run in the hole like that. You know? His his cut man didn't have adrenaline one thousand. But more more so 10.7, you know what I'm saying, seven and a half, which couldn't stop anything from bleeding. Fondora just need to use his feet and reach. He, he he would be really hard to beat. Man, he need to use, he need to do more than that. Like he keeps range. He barely move his head, man. And we all know Spence. He will throw that overhand right, right enough. But he does, he does entertain the body. Real talk. He, you know, he can he can write you a Hallmark card, man, for that body and that and that inside uppercut. But it's difficult to uppercut somebody like Fondor. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, he fights Spence. It's gonna be damn near similar to what we seen today with Zoo. I'm telling you, Spence can come in there and think he's gonna move forward and, and, and jab. Fondor it has an 80 inch jab and he's gonna use that shit too. You know, he's going to use it. Tell my dog, but he get, uh, you, you keep repeating the same thing, brother. So my one, what's good with it, man? Peace and blessings, blood. Salute W says certified step the like button and support the grind. What you been up to, bro? Hope all is well your way, man. Wish everybody a happy Easter. Um, I hope this live don't deter anyone from stepping in the house of God today. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, if you are um, a Crawford supporter, all I would do is walk in there and thank him for blessing you with being able to see greatness and be a part of greatness. Now, if you're on the other side and you're aerosexual, you might want to walk all the way down to the podium and, you know, bow and and allow the preacher, if he has some tap water around there, some some freaking essential water, some smart water, something. He need to goddamn throw that shit on your forehead and, and, and goddamn, you know, help you repent your sins. And once that's over with, you know, set you up for another baptism because you've probably already been baptized before. You know, and it gets you right and, and it gets you to basically, you know, leave the trance that you under, you know, the aerosexual trance. Just 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 leave that shit behind, bro, because they they took an L again today. The aerosexuals wanted, you know, Tim Zoo to win because it was a, it was it was a better fight stylistically. Now they got to fight a freaking um, a cherry blossom out of Mexico. You know what I'm saying? They gotta they gotta fight a damn Ethiopian pine tree. You know, they they got man with an 80 inch reach. And Spence thinking he's just gonna go in there and jab, jab, jab. You gonna do a jab, 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 left, jab, 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 left, 
one one two one one two one one two. And I, look, my my biggest question: is Who's gonna be training you, big dog? If Diddy James ain't the one that's that's, that's got them laying down the pledge, you know, to get the game plan up and smelling rights, you know, who who's gonna be training you? That's what I want to know. Who's do y'all know who's gonna be training Spence? Have y'all ran into an aerosexual yet? Do they even know? Cause I know they all hyped up and shit for from from him being. But 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 somebody just just tell me. Somebody just tell me, man. Just tell me something. Do you think? Or what? What? Take that back. Do you know who he's gonna be training with? Trick says Bud versus Fondora and Spence versus Zoo on the undercard, and the winners face each other. It, it, it will be great for that to happen. But PBC is such on this damn ego trip that they want to somehow try to, you know, drag Errol Spence, you know, to the front of the line right now and to get the fans, you know, um, back in recovery mode. Those fans that he left, they trying to get them fans to return, you know, and, 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 and you know, be a fan of Spence. They trying to get them to return, man, and show some love. That's all. They had to get him in front of, you know, television. How how can you be gone since July 29th and you get in front of the camera and, you know, you, you, you're you jumping the line, actually riding the clout off of Terrence Crawford, knowing you ain't goddamn ready for Crawford. You know, the person in Ash. in there with um the two belts and you get an opportunity to take them from them. at 150 none of that weight drain bullshit you be on par you'll be good i can't make this up though but what i can say i want to give a shout out to the hottest chat in the mf and game you know what i'm saying juice the next time you come in here man you need to cool down you need to drink a freaking sprite you you done came in here with some sticks of dynamite lately you need to chill, man. I, I I don't know who after you. I don't know what debt you owe. But you've been coming here with some fire, dog. You know what I'm saying? Relax, man. We just seen the Tower in the Inferno burn the fuck out of the goddamn zoo now. Bud out boxes fun door. Hey, man, I got some smart people in here, some scholars. You know what I'm saying? Some scholars. He's going to be Earl. Earl, uh... I handle left-handers. EJ likes these 210s. So wake as he's fight for door. Or does he still fight those uh, oxtails and cheese steaks? Hey, good question. That's a bot. Hey, hey, first of all, I read what you said, right? And you mentioned ox oxtail and cheese steaks, right? But one thing you forgot, you know, before the um, Crawford massacre, you know, um, I determined that a lot of that that was seeping out of his skin was that 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 I mean I'm talking about that rich, freshly made butter sauce that he used to dip them crab legs in that Samar. You know that shit was just dripping out his skin for real. That shit was just dripping out his skin, yo. Exactly. For real. He still Going to those freaking all you can eat crab leg fest. And then with that fresh homemade butter sauce. Come on, man. Shit ain't gonna stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. He's going to be the Earl to Earl. Can I handle the left though? He's going to be Earl to Earl. Can handle the left um the left handers. Hey man, just give it a little bit of days, man. These aerosexuals are really gonna show their 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 um their their bright colors, y'all. They're gonna be out here. They're gonna show you bright colors. They're gonna be bragging their ass off about Errol Spence calling out Fondora, right? 
Then they're gonna turn around and say Arrow hopped in the ring. He almost freaking punched Fondora. They're gonna be making up their own stories just to build this shit up. You know what I'm saying? And it's good. It's good, bro. It's good to build this up. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to this fight now. But I'm more so looking forward for Terrence Crawford. To see, see if I'm. I'm hearing different things. I think you know. I did read where Terrence Crawford could possibly still be fighting the winner of this fight. Okay, regardless of what they talking about with Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford could still be potentially in this fight, y'all. I'm being, I'm, I'm being, I'm being truthful, man. You know, I'm being truthful. I want to give a shout out to Jamal Nazy with the five dollar super chat in the cash app. Shout out to DZ, man, for always supporting the channel, my guy. I appreciate you, man. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, man. Always support me like that. It's much appreciated. Thank you, my brother. One love to you. Tough Glove Boxing is in the building. Make sure y'all check the brother out, man. Make sure you check that fire content out, man. You know what I'm saying? Be putting down the heat. Definitely support the brother channel, man. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Support the brother if you got it. Great content, man. Appreciate you pulling up, man. One love to you. Unbiased Brim is in the building. What's good? And, and and once again, I'm glad I always hold these crumbs. You know, keep a little bit of crumbs to myself for these aerosexuals that that loses their way. You know what I'm saying? I, this don't have nothing to do with uh, you, unbiased brim. I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about the other aerosexuals that you might have passed on your way in. Um, he said only reason Fondora won because of the cut. No, that's not the reason. You know, he won because he had a punch count. The punch count consisted of. This this long 80 inch jab. Okay. With that 80 inch jab, he did dress it up and compliment it with his second hand, which in boxing it could be considered a two or whatever you want to dress it up with. But he was consistent with throwing his jab and, and landing those combinations. And if if you want to talk about the cut. You need to ask Tim Zhu, why did he rush in like that? Why? You didn't even throw a punch. Like, why did you rush in and run into a saw blade? I, I don't get it. You ran into a saw blade, bro. It's not smart. That's what happened when you go in there and that rock em, sock em freaking um, style you got. Bud Cough reacted to Spence getting the ring and trying to make the Fondora fight. Tweeted, you lost, sir. You got to get in line and say, you look like a linebacker. Oh, my God. No, he didn't. No, he didn't, bro. No, he didn't, Toby. Mr. International dropping some gems. I got to find it, shawty. I got to find it. I got to find it, man. I got to find it. As a matter of fact, I got I to gotta go out here and, and goddamn hide these eggs, man. I'm putting a hundred dollars in each egg for real. You know what I'm saying? Whoever plays that Monopoly game next, they'll find out that you know some of the goddamn, um, you know, some of the tenure is missing. <laughs> yeah, think I'm putting some real money out that motherfucker? Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Hell no, because I saw, I saw enough duck in the day. I saw I saw a person that was ducking Bud Crawford and goddamn them feathers was them feathers was red as hell. So I just, you know, found a shout out to um Toby man. I gotta put this tweet up here though. I got I gotta um, do my due diligence and put this this tweet that Crawford just sent out in reference to which you know Crawford's um, his Twitter game has came up no doubt but I think this is relevant to the topic of conversation
because God damn it, we all know that Crawford did it the right way, administratively correct, professional. He did what he's supposed to do. And they're cheering. Here, you know, you hear all these people talking about boxing business, but when somebody do it correctly, no, not somebody, Crawford. When he do it correctly, other than sending up a letter that 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 the distant end cannot oblige. He can't oblige and he gets stripped. Crawford did it the right way. He didn't get totally butthurt about, you know, the way he did it. I mean, he should have. He should have. Because they did him dirty. They did him dirty. No doubt about it. They did him dirty. Here is Crawford's freaking... Hold on for a second. Let me see. Where am I at? Where am I at? I got to bring this up, man. I got to bring this up. Appreciate you, Toby. Mr. International dropping the gym again. One love to your brother. Thanks for the support. And this is this is Crawford's tweet. Another grandiose tweet from Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Another grandiose tweet. Terrence Crawford, you lost, sir. Got to work your way back up. That's plain and simple. He didn't put NGA on that. He said, you lost, sir. Got to work your way back up. He's right. No matter what games y'all trying to play, you got to work your way back up to the top, man. You got to get approval to get next up. Now, what we want to know is what Sebastian Fondora think he's going to do with those belts. I promise you, Sebastian want to fight Crawford. Sebastian want Crawford. He knows that Crawford didn't have an accident and he's healthy. He's going to get more credit for that. But then again, Sebastian might have an epiphany and say, you know what? Um, let's duck him just like freaking Tim Zhu did, you know, and go over here and fight Errol Spence because, you know, you know, you know why we fight him. We can get the Errol Spence on our record. Then it'll be a bigger fight for us if we fight Crawford. Nope. I really think you're going to get Crawford. I really think you're going to get Crawford. You need to get Crawford. You know, he's the more tougher opposition. And also, he does have the accolades. For these cats that act like he don't do anything, he ain't brought nothing, nobody gives a damn about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Tim Zhu got beat. Y'all was hoping and plotting that he won so y'all can get EJ and, and um, y'all can get EJ and Zhu. But once again, God is good. Shit messed up the apple cart. Fondora got the uh, split decision win. And them aerosexual gets it wrong again. They got it wrong again, trick. Can Spence make 154? He looks like he's 190. Hey, man, you know, them doctors are hell of, hell of a, you know, if, 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 if he can get in fight camp early enough and let the liposuction heal, you know what I'm saying? He may be able to make weight, bro. For real. He can get in there real quick. And, and and get that liposuction, you should be able to, you should be good to go. You know? That's all I'm saying. For those of you who want to donate, they'll go to Cash App. And I think this is like the the second time this year only I, I put that out there. But um if it's possible that, that Tim got the orders, now nah, now nah, I don't I don't I don't think he got the orders, man, because Tim was fighting, dog. Tim was fighting, he had a badass cut. Can you imagine? If Tim had the orders, he would probably would have went out earlier than that, man, and lived another fight, uh, lived a fight another day. I don't think Tim got the orders, bro. He was fighting his ass off. Tim was still trying to go for the knockout in the last round. They won the orders right there. You know what I'm saying, Neezy? They won the orders right there, bro. They won the orders. I gotta tell you, bro, those weren't the orders right there, man. But what was ordered? What was ordered was that goddamn jab that Fondora was landing on Tim Zhu's left eye. That was the orders. 
You know what I'm saying? Cheering, cheering, rewarding loser is a true travesty of the, 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 um, the offmer sport of boxing. Don't know, don't know exactly. Re, rewrite, 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 rewrite. Can you rewrite it? I don't know what you're talking about. There's no travesty in boxing, especially when it comes to fan bases. You know what I'm saying? You know? Especially when it comes to fan base, unless they're called aerosexuals. And that is a travesty. WJ Luckett on deck. What's good? And this is what I have to do right now. You know what I'm saying? It's about the hours Easter Sunday. I definitely got stuff to do tomorrow. But this is what I want y'all to think about. Think about how happy you know those individuals were when they was thinking that tim zoo was going to be the next up in line after crawford had already activated his wbo now with that hatred you know what I'm saying with that hatred and that nefarious behavior um a last minute replacement was put in outside of keith thurman who just had surgery shout out to keith thurman hope all is well with you that last minute replacement happened to be a much more dangerous opponent. And you know, Goofy the Goofy Australian himself, he took the fight. He didn't have to. What 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 somebody said? He could have just said, Let me fight Crawford. Why 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 you couldn't get why would you face um Sebastian Fondor? You thought based off what Erickson Lubin did, based off um, what Brian, uh, Brian Mendoza did, you know, you, you felt you was good. I'm telling you, man, Mendoza's a different animal. And he did he did pretty good. You know, Tim, he, he displayed his heart, you know, his nuts, man. He, he displayed his nuts on, you know, on this night. And he did what he's supposed to do, man. He's a tough fighter. He tried to get the knockout in the end. He just couldn't get it. But they gave him a split decision loss, man. Split decision loss, so. I don't know if he's going to be able to get a rematch. I don't know where Crawford comes into play. But um, I can tell you like this. At the end of the day, they didn't get what they wanted again. And they and, and, and as much as they was melting and shit, and they was rubbing all that baby oil on them, and because and they was so overjoyed, they're going to dry up tomorrow, though. That dry up, and they're gonna get, that, that reality is going to hit Monday. You know what I'm saying? It's going to start Sunday. It's going to hit Monday. Why? Because they sitting up here believing that they want to cheer for Fundora Spence. They know Fundora is gonna annihilate this dude. They but but see, I'm I'm biased because I would rather want Crawford to just, you know, go in there and beat Fundora the right way and show people how how technically advanced he is to go in there and make this look easy. That's all. He can make that look easy. Definitely. But PBC trying to do all that sneaky, underhanded shit, man. You know, God always win, man. God is good. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Omaha, Omaha Monster. Pound for pain, pound number be, number one, best in the world. Hey, man, they, they can't stop you. They can't stop you. And, and, and big shout out to the hottest chat in the MF and game. You already know what it is. No negotiation needed, period. I'm out. Appreciate you pulling up. Everybody enjoy their Easter Sunday. Peace. I'm done.